So you've got a playable build of your game. Now you want to be able to export it to the browser so people can play it online without downloading. So how would you do that? First, you can head up here to Project and click Export. And now you're going to see an empty window here. You can go to this button that says Add, Web. So what this is doing is it's saying, I want to export to the web browser, but it currently doesn't know how to do, which is what this error is down here. So you can just click Manage Export Templates and click Download and Install. Once that's done installing, you're able to close out of from this and go back up to Project and Export, and you'll see our error is gone. So let's export our project, shall we? I'm going to create a new folder here just for the build so that I'm not dumping it into my project folder. And I'm going to keep this at index.html. I'm going to click Save. Now if we navigate to our build path, we should be just be able to open this file and play our game, right? To test it out. Well, not exactly. See, we, we need to be running a server with certain parameters for Godot to be able to run on our computers. So we're going to have to install one thing to allow us to do this and write some lines of code. So if you go to python.org, if I can spell it correctly, download and download the latest version of Python. Yeah, I downloaded it recently. And checkmark add Python exe to path. And now you can just click the install now button. I'm not going to install it again because I've already got it. So once it's installed, you can go and open idle Python. And create a new file. And we're going to have to type a few lines of code to create our server. So we're going to have to import the server module. So from HTTP import server. And now we're going to have to define our server class. So class, I'm just going to call this HTTP server. And we're going to take in a server.simple HTTP request handler parameter. And so basically what this means is when we run the, like when we call the class, we have to pass in something. Now we're going to define two functions for this class. So def and headers, and we're going to pass in self. So we're going to pass in ourselves for this one. Now we're going to do self dot send my headers and server dot simple HTTP request handler dot end headers and we're going to pass in self again. So what this is going to do is the saying end the parameters we give the server. We're done with that. Now we need to actually define what those parameters are. So we're going to create another function def send my headers self. Now we need to send a few headers self dot send header. This edit header will be access control allow origin comma asterisk and self. Another one will be self dot send header. cross origin and better policy. And we're going to need another parameter for this one. So require corp. And the final one will be self dot send header. That's in the wrong spot. <laughs> cross origin. And I'm horribly misspelled that origin opener policy. And then we're just going to give it one more parameter of same origin. Look over that, make sure I spelt everything correctly. I think I did. Now we're we have to call the class when the 
program runs. So if, oops, sorry. If under under two underscores name, two underscores equals equals in single quotes, underscore, underscore, main, underscore, underscore. Now we just have to call our server. So server.test handler class equals HTTP server. You know, this name up, we gave it up here. So now that we've finished our program, we need to save it. So we need to navigate to our builds folder. So mine will be on desktop and offline game and in the builds folder. And I'm just going to call this server.py. And I apparently have one already there. So we're just going to overwrite it. So now if we open up that folder again. And go up to our navigation bar and type CMD, it's going to open command prompt for us at that location that we are at. And we can just type Python server.py. And it'll open a server on port 8000. So now we can just go here and type localhost 8000. And there's an error here. So I probably mistyped something. Yeah, see right here, I missed, I accidentally did an underscore. So if we save that now and try running the server again, so I'm just going to type CMD here again and type Python server.py. It should be open. And now if I click refresh, it'll load our game. So this is a way to test your game locally on your machine. But what if I don't want to do the process of typing in command prompt and typing in Python server.py every time I want to start my server? Well, there's another way to do that. So I'm going to close our server and I'm going to close our browser. And I'm going to open Notepad. We're going to create a bash script to run a few things for us automatically so that we don't have to do it every time. So if we do at echo start localhost 8000. So basically what this line is saying is open a web browser, the default one, and then open it to HTTP localhost 8000. Now we can just type Python server.py. And then we're done with the script, so we can just type pause. And if I spell it right. Now we're going to want to save this script to once again our builds folder. And we're going to call set it to all files. And we're going to call this run server dot bat dot bat and close this now and you'll see we have the run server thing here so we can just double click that it'll open our web browser which opened on a new tab and run our server that's all for this tutorial if you got some helpful advice from this tutorial please like and subscribe if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one.